Well, it's my last day at home and honestly it feels not much like home because everything is packed up and the walls are bare and I have to like live out a suitcase and so it kind of feels like I have a foot in two worlds right now like one foot here one foot on the road and part of a foot in Toronto <laughs> I guess that means I have a lot more heat than I realize anyways um this is the stack which you've already seen in pictures but I thought I would just do like a little video and kind of walk through my place um, or at least what's been my home for the last 17 years. And, yeah. That really is a hot pink ironing board. It was cheaper than the plain colored ones, can you believe that? And I actually really like hot pink, so that's perfect. I had, like, um, a cart, um, for, like, hauling groceries and that sort of thing, because I'm going to be doing everything on foot. And it was hot pink as well. So these drawers are, like, all full. That, and that, is my scarf collection. There's probably so many packed in there, I don't even know how many, I lost count. And the rest is magazines and stuff. So, like, it's pretty packed. There's, like, layers of boxes. Mm -hmm. Behind there, down in there, there's, like, all these layers. In this weird shape box on the top, it's actually my harp. That's what's in there. And I can't forget, I have a dulcimer back down in there that thing I have to take with me so yeah this is our living room and the tree mom just decided to wait to take down Christmas decor until I was gone and then she could pack it away and like decide I guess what she wants to put up next usually our windows are super frosted up that one's just foggy today Usually they're really frosted, so it must be nice outside. Lots of snow. Yeah. Little mantle. See? They have a webcam, so we will be able to Skype. Kitchen. Everything's really cluttered and really messy. Usually our house looks a lot more organized and neat and tidy than this. So... Yeah. This is just our porch. Yeah. It's cold because there's like, there is a heater out here, but it's an addition and it's just always really drafty and miserable. We like snowmen in case you haven't been able to tell from all the decor that's sitting around. So at Christmas time, there's lots and lots and lots of snowmen. Even aprons with snowmen on them. Hallway. So all these boxes, these are what I have to ride in the truck. So like I have a box of liquid and a box of movies. Here's a box of liquids. And then a box of CDs. And then below it is another box of things that I think if they get cold, they'll crack. So... Pictures. Backing up. Going to the right. This is the spare room. Office, whatever. I have all my teacups up there, which I have decided not to take. Simply because I have so much breakables already. So, I'll probably get them brought to me over time. That's my laptop. That's kind of my desk. Um, <laughs> For the Murdoch fans, there's my Gmail account. See the picture back there? Yeah, they're actually, that's the one from, hmm. honestly I can't remember, but it's the one where the guy in the dark hood goes around shooting people with arrows. Really not a good description. I should remember the title of that one, but anyways, maybe I'll think of it later, but that's my screensaver. Thanks to my bunny, of course, which I love it. More boxes. Beautiful painted dresser, which is falling apart, so I'm not taking it with. Yeah. Then out, around the corner, my room, which is currently a mess, but also kind of empty. <laughs> it's just really weird. There's like no pictures on the wall, there's no posters, there's no mirrors, the shelves are pretty empty. Those things are like my purse and stuff that are coming with me. Speaking of Murdoch Mysteries and since today, season six of Murdoch Mystery airs, my little 
thing I pulled out of the TV times is like the picture. It's like, yeah. I just ripped it out because it's kind of like a cool little collectible and TV times usually has nothing worth ripping out in it. Yep, my closet empty so I'm living on that suitcase and I'm going to be living out of it for about a week. I'm determined not to have a huge stack of laundry to do when I get there. Stuff I'm moving here. Doll I used to play with, yes. Anyways, determined not to have much laundry. So, oh, phone ringing. I'm the only one home. Guess I have to answer it and finish the